Hello, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this edition of Management Models and Diagrams series, you will learn how to create decision tree diagram in PowerPoint. You use decision tree for a number of occasions, for, for a number of reasons. Um, for example, you may use decision tree to decide whether you want to buy or lease a machinery, whether you want to bid on a project, whether you want to enter a new market segment, etc. Let us see a typical decision tree diagram you will learn to create today. This is an example diagram. A decision tree usually has three nodes. This one, which is a square node, usually represents a decision node. That is, you make a decision of what option you want to choose. And then you have a cho chance node. A chance node is usually represented as a circle. This gives you two options or uh, this usually provides you with what happens if you have one outcome and the other, like for example, a success or a failure. And you finally have this triangle which represents the end node. Let me explain this diagram to you. For example, if you want to decide to go for a particular end goal, you have three options to pursue. Uh, they are option one, option two and option three here as it is shown here. The costs involved in each of these options are shown here. For example, if you want to go with option one, it will cost you $50,000. If you want to go with option two, then you have the possibilities of success or failure happening. If it is successful, then the cost would be 45000 Whereas if it fails, then you will have to incur $28,000 as a cost. Option 3 provides you with the same uh, choice. One is success. If you succeed in that project, succeed with the option, then you have 41000 as the cost. If you fail, you have 33000 as the cost. So that is how a typical decision tree looks like. While this tutorial is not so much about teaching you about where to use decision tree and how to use it, the diagram, we will learn how to create the diagram from scratch. Or we will try to replicate this diagram from scratch. Let us go to a new slide. First, let me make the square, which happens to be the decision uh, point and let me color it in a particular way then I am going to use three text boxes to represent three options here I am going to space them reasonably away from each other and I also I'm going to select all of them and make sure that they are aligned middle you can go from here arrange align uh, align center rather and you can also use arrange align distribute vertically so this ensures that they are spaced equally and they are aligned properly the next step is to name them so I'm going to call them option 1 here option 2 and option 3 I want to distinguish them clearly so I am going to give them different quick style so this one will have purple this one will have aqua color and this one will have orange color next I want to connect these to this square for which I am going to use a connector you can find the connectors under lines option in auto shapes menu and the connector I am going to use is called as elbow connector I click on it and I click on this black dot which is one point one end of a connector and I will connect it with the other black point which happens to be the other end of the connector so that connects this to this the benefit of this is I can move this wherever I want and the line will still hold now let me go back once again and draw another elbow connector which connects this to this and another one which connects option 3 to the decision point the next step is to write down the outcomes let us go to the two outcomes for option 2 and option 3 so I'm going to create one example here 
I am going to create the chance node using the oval tool in AutoShapes menu while holding the shift button I am drawing a perfect circle here and as we talked about the color convention we are going to use um, some other color to distinguish it say let, let me use this blue color light blue color and I'll remove the outline I use the smart guide usually to make sure that they are all aligned properly you can see the dotted lines uh, that connect that show the alignment now I have this here I am going to use a straight line to connect the circle with the box as we talked earlier there are two possibilities whenever you have this choice or there can be more of uh, possibilities I am just uh, taking two possibilities here I am going to make a copy of this instead of uh, creating a text box once again so I am going to keep it here I am holding the control button while I move this so I can create a copy and I have it here once again I use smart guide to make sure that they are all properly aligned it's a good idea to usually give this also a color let me give this a green color to indicate success so we're going to call this success and we can give this a red color to indicate failure it's a good idea to remove the outline no outline and now let us use the same elbow connector to connect this with the decision node and the failure with the decision node that looks good now finally we also want the same thing um, available for option 3 as well so I'm going to select all of these and while holding the control tab, tab I'm going to move this here that looks good now let me connect this with this and that is beautiful that kind of completes this one and as we have seen earlier we have a straight line going here just to make sure that I have all the end nodes aligning properly I'm going to create one end node let me go to arrange rotate and rotate left 90 degrees and this is going to be the end node here so I'm going to keep it here and I will have copies of this end node made and we will have the end node here for the first one let us give all this a uniform color I'm going to give it black and remove the outline now we need to connect the corners the uh, end node with the boxes okay so that doesn't look really nice so maybe I have to move this slightly here all this is about adjustments to make sure that the diagram looks appropriate the same way this one is also not really good yeah this is perfect now let me connect this with this that looks good enough now I'm going to color all these lines in black color I'm holding the shift button while I'm selecting all this there it is and let me choose black color and maybe the weight can be something like this much yeah so there it is the decision tree diagram is done while this may not actually be very pretty it serves the purpose it helps you to argue your case very beautifully and logically and as you might be as you might have seen just now it takes a lot of time to create a decision tree diagram and sometimes decision tree diagrams when they are made this way can be very boring I'm going to show you some example templates taken from our PowerPoint CEO packs 1 and 2 that are a lot more beautiful to look at and second they 
reduce a lot of time for you when you want to create your decision tree diagrams because there are a number of options you just need to choose the template and replace the sample text let me show you the creative variations of a decision tree diagram taken from our powerpoint ceo packs here we have used different kind of connecting nodes here and for each of the steps how the various outcomes pan out is what is shown here and you can talk about each stage separately here let me show you another example this one talks about the first point and you have two options and here you have two options for each of these uh, outcomes you just need to replace the sample text with your own text to come up with this beautiful diagram let me show you another one which shows the two branch decision tree diagram the first outcome and the second outcome and you can write your outcomes uh, comments here another example is with a simple branching of uh, the diagram and you can write your text here here we have used the convention of positives represented with green negatives with red with the first decision you have two outcomes positives and negatives the positive outcome and the negative outcome here in turn have the positive and negative outcomes which are shown like this the beauty of each of these diagrams is all these elements design elements are totally editable so you can uh, create diagrams the way you want with as many boxes as you want let me show you another example of a simple decision tree with three outcomes here if you are a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such professional looking diagrams you can always take a look at off the shelf solutions like our powerpoint ceo packs volume 1 and 2 the two ceo packs have more than 1600 fully editable charts and graphics for ceos and busy business presenters like you just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time creating professional quality business slides has never been easier Hope you liked our tutorial on creating decision tree in PowerPoint. If you want to learn more such tutorials, if you want to read articles to improve your presentation skills and PowerPoint skills, or if you want to watch more videos like the ones you've just seen, you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.